here right now. You're doing just fine if you can say Okay, it's time. Gotta update I gotta update a couple of things though, but we're just gonna launch it. Just get right into it. Armored Core 3. It's not Armored Core 2 colon something something. 3. A brand new Armored Core for a new age. And a brand new intro video that hopefully has sick music and robots shooting the hell out of each other. Man, I'm ready for that robot. Oh, it's a raven! Oh, I get it! That's me. I'm that bird. Fine detail, high resolution debris. This is really impressive looking for 2002. There's like some weird chanting chiming sound to the music that's kind of unnerving, but it's pretty cool. You can discard empty weapons now. What? You can pick up new weapons? Or can you just discard? God. Limited ammo are basically balancing your weapon load for a particular uh, mission has been everything. Ooh, well, all right. No importing here. No, it's a new era, Armored Core 3. The menu's 60 FPS, so that's good. I'm terrified of the day that this series drops to 30. Oh, drop for less weight? Ah, uh, alright. The third core. Got your... Cool, cool. I don't think this... Yeah, this doesn't have any... Wait, no, this does have rumble in it. Wait a minute. Hmm.
All right, we're going to be Robot Randy. Thus begins the legend of Robot Randy. It was simply called the controller. Okay. The controller handled the major decisions of everyone's life. People took it for granted that the controller would handle every aspect of their lives for them. Under the rule of the controller, people lived safe yet uninspired lives of a promised prosperity. As time went on, several powerful factors known as corporations came on the scene. In their separate struggles to gain absolute power, the corporations waged war upon each other. The controller even manipulated the corporation's war. All was going according to the plans of the controller, but somehow the forces of chaos began to rise. So is the controller just some AI that everyone trusts but forgets why they trust it, but it just works out so everyone keeps doing it? But then, corporations... We're nearly there. I'll go over the mission one more time. Your objective is to eliminate all forces occupying the city. Okay. The targets are battle MTs. But then, Complete the mission. corporations the fought in war. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't blow it. Entering the area. Of yeah, the textures are quite a bit more crisp. There's a bit more artistry in them, too. Like, the contrast is higher and brighter. I'll do my Probably makes it easier to see enemy units. Oh, I like the, the weapon art. That looks nice. A little wireframe back there. Oh, it shows your weapon cooldown. Cool. Well. Sorry, that was my dingle. That was my dingle. There's like a tab that you cannot mute or something. I don't know, it's weird. Wait, maybe I can't... Oh yeah, hold on. I can mute. You can only mute it when it's playing sound. Let me do that. Okay, never mind. Sorry about that. I got a spam call. It created a dingle. map updates in 60 Last fps fly. or the mini map anyway now i think i was just using a bad radar all for all the whole game so it's possible that it's possible that my experience could have been much uh much you more comfortable well. welcome to the ranks of an elite few ravens, ravens. Sticks working? Oh, I didn't even check. <laughs> Whoa! Animated menus? Yes! Mail is back! Welcome, Raven, from Lane Myers. Is this voiced? I guess not. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I guess the emails never were. It was just the mission briefings. Good day, Raven. Let me take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Lane Myers, and I'll be acting as your Global Cortex Liaison Representative. As I'm sure you are aware, Global Cortex is in the business of dispute resolution. The firm makes its money hiring out Ravens, such as yourself, to clients in need of our special brand of mediation. In our role as intermediary, we arrange mission assignments, offer a selection of mission escort units, and provide access to AC repair and shop facilities. You have our full backing. All we ask is that you perform your best. The mission assignments you choose to accept and how they are carried out is up to you. Global Cortex will not interfere with regard to these decisions. Please note, though, that if trouble should occur during a mission, Global, Global Cortex will not intervene on your behalf. Again, let me welcome you aboard. I look forward to working with you. All right. The controller has got something to say. This message is to notify citizen 0824-FK3203 of their authentication as a raven, which includes the right to operate ACs and supportive of activities registered through Global Cortex. Keep in mind that your actions while holding this position must at all times adhere to the laws set in place for maintaining order throughout Layered. 
Reports of any questionable activities will resort in your well will result in your immediate dismissal and the revoking of all rights and privileges associated with being a raven. Good luck in your endeavors. Robots laying down the law. Yeah. Arena's back. <laughs> Robot Randy. Well, I mean, there's a stick there. Maybe I could bind it to the stick? No. Oops. That doesn't quite work, does it? Well, is, is it just that that first robot? Ooh. Hold on a sec. I'm going to take a quick break because Steph just got home and I want to say hi. I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. I got that soylent gunk in my throat. Blah. Blah. It's chewy. All right, let's see. <laughs> it gives it a grade. Okay. <clears throat> Volume went to 127. It was already at 127. Was it not? All right, let's do a mission. I like, the, whoa, what the heck? Whoa. Yeah, they said layered. Is it, I guess it's like some kind of giant structure that has floors. <laughs> Is that bar graph the balance of power between the the corporations? It must be, right? Oh. Why would I take this if it's zero? Information has come to light regarding a possible terrorist attack on Global Cortex interests. The instigators have yet to be revealed, but there is no mistaking their intentions. As far as we know, they plan to disable one of our arena facilities and force the cancellation of an upcoming match. Stand by on scene and make sure the attack does not succeed. An overwhelming show of force must be brought to bear so that our response isn't misinterpreted. Hostilities against Global Cortex are not tolerated and will be dealt with accordingly. Yeah, but apparently you won't pay for them. Due to our stance on this matter, Oh, okay. Reward will be determined by the number of enemy units destroyed. All right, then. Let's go for it. I think I can earn my keep. System engaged. There are more than we expected. Be careful. Really, I have a lot of health. But those just really don't do that much damage. They pay by the amount of enemies I killed, but what what causes the mission to end? Oh, looks 
like you could use a hand. Guidos. I guess I just, I'm still curious if this game is going to struggle with communicating the victory conditions of a given level. Hey. The music's not disappointing, though. Yeah, Guy Dawes is pretty great, actually. He's putting in work. Maybe he's under the same deal. He's probably getting paid by the kill. It's tough out here in the layered. Trying to earn money so you can buy your gas station 7-Eleven sandwich and go home. Everyone eats at 7-Eleven in the future. I do like the, there's like a drop shadow around the numbers and letters in the U, UI now. And it looks really clean. Object. That little accent makes everything a lot more readable. You don't want another Slurpee? Too bad. So, you get a little pouch of almonds, uh, a beef stick, and a Slurpee. We're already off to off to a flying start. Nice little animation. You're quite a pilot, Raven. I like your style. You know what? You're all right too, Guidos. We make a good team, and hopefully, we'll have a chance to work together again. Just got back from Mission Impossible. It was awesome. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I need to get tickets then. Oh, look! At, we got different layers. Employees standoff. I can do that. A group of employees, unhappy about our decision to shut down the Zidane weapons factory, have taken over control. So I guess, I wonder if this is just going to be a bunch of disconnected missions or if there's going to be a connected story of some kind. They've modified the factory's MTs for combat and are using them to keep the demolition team at bay. Remove them from the premises immediately. Closing the factory was a difficult decision, but had to be done in order to accommodate the need for more housing. Every day we are delayed is costing huge sums of money. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to overstuff the game with little reminders that We're sending you in corporate life is terrible. And get the project back on track. Eliminate all targets in the factory. Oh, title still says that right. Yes, it does. Never know what to title a stream, but this will work. Consort? Oh! You can hire people to come with, huh? Cool! That's interesting. You can throw money at it. So I guess if you hire somebody and die... Also, that font is straight up like an NES font.
How much you pay comes out of your reward? Oh, I thought you had to pay up front. I mean, I like the idea of being able to pay your way through something that just seems so ridiculous. This is what you get for rebelling, employee. Drink your mandated Slurpee. I can't believe they didn't think of the profits. Should have known better and have no one to blame but themselves. That's all of them. Let's head out. Wow. <laughs> God. Objective achieved. They're not playing around. Yeah. I don't think they they stopped to consider the economy even a little bit. Not even for a little bit. Man, chit chatty. Crest sends their thanks. Good work, Raven. We appreciate your help. If a few factory jobs have to be sacrificed for the greater good of society, then so be it. It's a harsh reality, but the decision to redevelop Sector 303 was made by the controller, and we aren't about to stand in the way. We sincerely hope that you'll continue to assist us so that order can be maintained. Okay. Lane Myers has something to say about Layered. Since its inception, Layered has been governed by the Controller, a complex and extremely powerful AI computer system. Needless to say, the importance of the Controller's existence is hard to deny. All aspects of life for those living in Layered are managed and maintained by the Controller. However, there seems to be some discontent among the Layered's, popu Layered's population, and the number of uprisings has increased in recent years. Perhaps the very system that Layered is coming in Wow. Perhaps the very system that lay- yeah. Perhaps. The very system that is layered is coming apart. Those who died today did so because they resisted the controller. But I still can't help feeling sorry for them. An interesting combination of feelings there. All hail the controller. Okay. Gotta destroy all enemy forces. We'd like you to execute an attack on the Grand Mining Facility. Kisaragi has played a leading role in the mine's operation and just recently uncovered a rich vein of rare metal ore. Needless to say, the ore has considerable value and we're unwilling to allow Kisaragi to corner the market. After consultation with other corporations, it was decided that the mine's resources are to be equally distributed and that we, Mirage, will take over its day-to-day -day operations. However, although Kisaragi agreed to this, they continue to mine the ore and are in clear <laughs> violation of the arrangement that was Those bastards! Off. That's our ore! We want to avoid damage to the mine and its assets, but all Kisaragi personnel are to be removed from the facility. Sure. Why does it say rest of funds? I have more money than that, don't I? Or is that the amount that I can use to hire consorts? Hey, God bless that speedy load. This truly is living. This is... I was thinking about this when I was copying the ROM over for the ISO. It's like, man, this is the visitation of the future that I hoped would happen. Where games get so old and so unpoliced that you can just sort of download and copy and load up anything you want. And it just works. I guess it works in my specific circumstance. Custom firmware is awesome, is what I'm saying. 
Yeah, Nintendo tries their best, whatever. I mean, even for Nintendo, things get to the point where there's no point for them to chase it down anymore. Oh, Jacob. Jacob, thanks for the raid, Jacob. It's not Monday. What was Jacob streaming tonight? Oh wait, Jacob was uh, playing the Armored Cores as well. Mecha Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> Do I get a... No. I don't have a cool map. Damn it. I gotta buy a better noggin. Has Jacob played them before? Yeah, he was talking about them. He was definitely playing the first one. Ah, uh, it was Mecha Monday on a Tuesday. I see. Right, because they've been traveling. Well, thank you very much, Hold on a minute. Oh no! This is more important. Gotta go. Gotta do a little Jacob shout out. Oops. Oh, they're gonna dock my pay for that one. I ca I'm kind of okay with them leaning more into the dystopian aspects of it. It'll give a little more salt and pepper to the the mission briefings. They're very kind of... I mean, they're there. and that's, It makes it feel cool when a little voice is telling you what to do and all these wireframes and maps are popping up. Briefings just feel cool. So it kind of justifies its existence because of that. But there's some wasted opportunity there, I guess. Now, I just wonder how, uh, how ham-fisted is it gonna get, you know? Is every single mission briefing gonna have to have some kind of zinger in there about how corporations and profits are important? I guess it's not the worst thing if that ends up being the case. It's already pretty funny. They did call it the controller. That's that's true. Everyone unironically is listening to and obeying the controller. All hail the controller. Destruction of all enemy targets confirmed. Great work, Raven. Good work, Raven. And she... Music sounds a little more like dark. Like, kind of, kind of acidy. What is extension operating at the top? Uh, if I had an extension installed, that would probably be an indicator if it's t turned on or not. Oh, this game has first person view? Pause the game during a mission. Simultaneously press L1, R2, X, square, and down. Point of view switches to first person. Huh. I don't, that's that's probably worse though, right? For a game like this? Worth checking out though. Ooh, Mirage has something to say. Nice job for a newcomer. We hope we can count on your continued support. Crest's notion that they are the controller's selected representatives is becoming intolerable. Layered has matured, and it's time to forge ahead to the next level. We here at Mirage are prepared to make that happen, Raven. It's time to make a decision. We're confident you'll make the right one. Interesting. So people actually argue about the, the intent of the controller. Defend a bridge. Oof. What about this? Escort. Oof. <laughs> Alright. Third layer it is. Nair Bridge, a work in progress, has been seized by forces threatening to destroy it unless construction ceases immediately. The project is one of great importance, literally bridging the gap that has impeded trade between the two neighboring districts. 
Those holding the bridge are thought to be part of a smuggling ring that has benefited from the situation. The smugglers disguised themselves as bridge workers and commandeered their MTs. The bridge's construction must not be delayed. Eliminate those holding it. Okay. Just think about what that bridge... Delaying this bridge could do to the Lower economy. Even. I guess they decided to ignore our warning. I feel like th feelings on three so far. It's kind of similar so to. I want this AC turned into scrap. I mean, it's pretty similar to uh, another age right now. System this, like having the missions grouped into subcategories on a map. There isn't much room to maneuver. Each one has a small briefing that's pretty dry, and then it takes place on like small playable area, the different spread of en of enemies and stuff. Alright, assets are... Oh, look! That's a little cluster of dudes. That's cute. Art assets are a little cleaner. Cleaner, sharper, crisper. Just like, they kind of look better in the game. Things are a little more visible. Uh, I mean, there's... Okay. I guess there's a beam right there. Okay. Fun fact, <laughs> the corporations in this game mean jack shit to the story. <laughs> I mean, the le- Armored- Whoa! That was clever! Oh! <laughs> okay. That was like a FromSoft trap. Jesus. Yeah, the story, uh, the stories don't matter a ton, do they? I think the story at its most impactful has just been like something clever that happened in one or two lines. It's never more protracted than that. Oddly, there was more of an attempt to have a continuous story in the PlayStation 1 armored cores. This one even opened with, uh, you know, some lore about the controller and whatnot, so... Maybe that's some kind of declaration of intention that there's going to be more of a continuous story? I don't know that I need it, though. I don't know that I... It's fine. Story becomes more apparent when you do missions not for the corpse. Oh, okay. Oh. One of them has a ton of different endings, huh? weird because like the um the ace combat game ace combat zero had different endings maybe i can buy some upgrades already let's see Harrison arrows are gone. <laughs> Every time they add something, they like take it away. Oh. Couldn't they just keep the arrows? Why did they have to? Oh man, that's a bummer. Like you can't even compare. You just have to look at stats. Sherlos, thanks for the sub. <laughs> Too much graphical power. PS2 pushed to the absolute limit. Well, I guess it, you know, you can always sell parts, so whatever. You know, it's partially an upgrade. Helps. Oh, sure, loves. Thanks for gifting five subs. K. 
calorific value. I guess that's how much heat it puts out. Uh, thank you very, very much. It really was? I remember parts chugging on the PS2. Wait, for real? What about it is chuggy? Like, how do you sell? Is there no selling? Shop. Uh, I guess not. Look at a part in assembly. Oh, okay. You sell it through that, huh? That's kind of weird. I guess that, no, I guess that makes sense. Sell. Interesting. Yeah, I yeah, I guess that makes sense. Ugh. Just gotta do it all again, huh? was the best even though it looks stupid <laughs> yeah you were right oh man I kick damn am I a bad enough dude to wear that stupid head <laughs> this for now. Nope. No, I won't. Oh! I thought I could afford... Yeah, I can afford this one. With too much on the screen, the game would slow down. In in the parts menu, though? Yeah, it definitely slows down in missions and stuff, or at least uh, Armor Core 2 sure did. Still paint mechs. All gray is so boring. Yes, you can. Oh. Oh. Glorious gold. Pengi. Gotta put the pengi on. Right? You get to pick where it goes? Oh, okay. It's just on there. Alright. Spent hours making logos. I think I saw briefly on wiki that this game is the first one to support a USB mouse to edit emblems with. thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, same stuff. Yeah, there's there ain't a whole lot changed. I mean, it's they uh they release these games year after year, so you can't expect a whole rework of what's going on. All right, we got an employee rebellion. Tisk tisk. The factory we had you clear out the other day has been reoccupied. <laughs> Apparently, the rebellion spread further. Those than pesky rebels are back. 
Those holding it are threatening to release a deadly nerve toxin if the factory's closure isn't halted. The deadline to meet their demands is soon approaching. What do you have to... How many of these guys do we have to shoot? Their resolve leads us to believe that one of the other corporations is manipulating the situation. A peaceful resolution oh, okay. is out of the question. Another corp corporation's astroturfing. <laughs> hey, Ozzy Maniac. Your objective is twofold. Disable the nerve gas generators. The nerve of these idiots. The factory. They wanted to... They wanted a day off or something? Give me a break. No. Combat system engaged. How about you get shot? There are four generators spaced throughout the factory. Everything. Am I breaking the generators? Disabled. Oh. There are three left. Hey. These missiles really don't do that much damage yet, so that's really nice. I gotta admit, uh, I am appreciating being at the beginning of the difficulty curve yet again. Reset is very cozy. These robots are not flying around behind me, swatting me in the back of the head over and over again. Target disabled. The music is going off. Appreciate that. You zoom much faster in the map. That's fantastic. That was such an awkward thing having to like rotate and zoom out every time you wanted to open the map. You still have to do it, but at least it's faster. Awesome and weird. You have one left. It almost, almost feels like it's it's, it's like thirty percent too fast. Yours just stop? Oh. You're building a Gundam using sharp tools and drinking alcohol? That's fine. You you want your blood to be as thin as possible when you're around blades. It makes it less likely for the blade to actually cut. Cause it's so thin it just goes right through and it doesn't leave a well, it doesn't leave a cut behind. I know about these things. Five percent, huh? You can't cut water, can you? Another thing, hold all your shoulder buttons and triangle to drop your right arm weapon. Back units and inside parts. Press all shoulder buttons and click in on the left analog stick to drop extension parts. Also, hold all shoulder buttons and press circle to drop left arm weapons. Those are fantastic tips. I don't remember any of that. I'm not going to anyway. That's not a, that's not like a, I'm trying not, it's not being catty. I'm just being realistic. Let's see here. Third layer, defend the monorail. What's the word? Maybe I should buy a better booster. I'm gonna be defending a monorail. It's a pro strat. It sounds pro. 
once once missions get mean enough that I have to do that shit. Robot, people have told me about the claw grip. I don't know if you can do that in this game though. Maybe you can. I don't remember which game has the uh has the, the first official claw drip. Money, right. I don't have all the money in the world. Let's do one arena fight. Let's see what's going on. Let's fight a Jew. He has little experience and is it is painfully evident in every respect. His AC is poorly equipped and would stand almost no chance at the arena's higher levels. He's garnered a small fan base given his willingness to try, but a <laughs> but harsh lessons await. <laughs> Oh, this poor guy. Look at this, though. This versus screen here? Why doesn't it fill in my name? It's so weird. Robot Randy's coming for you, Sky Dancer. Yeah, that font is straight up like an NES 8-bit font. It's so weird. It looks good. It's just an odd choice. Emperor Padlin. Oh, even missiles will auto fire if you hold down square. That's nice. Oh, you haven't named your AC, just your pilot. I see. not view the replay finally okay cool we got a badass over here email congratulations on your first victory we hope you'll continue to advance through the ranks each time you hit a certain rank we'll present you with an AC part reward or this time is a back part model number CWM CS6010 Thank you for telling me. Okay, some more missiles. I don't know what the radar does. There's no, there's nothing on scanning interval. That's the one thing I would expect to see. I guess range is nice. Interesting. Okay, monorail time. You killed a five-year-old, they stuck in the core. How do you feel? I feel like I should have gotten paid more. An attack has been launched on our research lab. 
Thankfully, security forces detected the breach early and were able to get all key employees aboard the monorail and out of harm's way. Oh, it's one that is the fastest. Oh! But for some reason, power to the monorail has been cut and is just sitting on the tracks. The employees on board are integral to our research efforts and must be protected. Hope this game also kicks you out when you fail a mission. Yeah, I'm worried about that. That's gonna really set the tempo for playing this game. Protect the monorail until the power is brought back online. Exactly how mean they are. <laughs> Maybe I should select a consort this time. I'll bring somebody inexpensive. Alright, cold heart. All back mounted raiders have the fastest interval. Head raiders are slower to update and actually have Okay, thank you. That makes that makes all the sense in the world. It makes sense that back radars would be fundamentally better too. Okay. Because yeah, the smooth movement on the radar is actually really, really, really useful. Really nice on the eyes. Watching the very slow updating targets closing targets on the old radars that I was using actually was pretty grating. Get him! Get him! Mess him up! Hey. Did one of them just say sorry? It sounded like it. Or, like, I don't know. Maybe like a. a, a very safe curse. Sorry! Yeah, it could have been cold heart. Sawi. I guess he might have shot me. Second wave approaching. Maybe think about Ska. Fourth wave any day now. Any day now. Oh. Power has been restored. Oh. Pulling out. <laughs> Never. Yeah, no analog sticks. I mean, you can still click them. Area secure. But you can't move. Oh, I can. You can move and go backward and forward with it. Same with uh, that was the same in another age, probably. Or not probably. You can probably aim with a mouse. What? Oh yeah. Yeah, robot termite. I'm really curious about that too. This is the first one coming out on PC, and theoretically, mouse aim would have really changed the game. But I think what they can do is make it so you can like turn to the boundary of the screen, but your turn speed is still maxed based on your your uh, armored core specs. That was the deal with God of War, actually. It would actually make the game fundamentally easier if you could look around at all times with the mouse. Resident Evil's kind of the same way. You can like, you can whip around with the camera, but your character can't turn that quickly. I guess some, no, some of them can. If you, like, aim, they can aim backward instantly. But if you're, like, running, you can't just stop and turn around. Your character has to, like, slow down and then run. 
Power interruptions resulting from rerouting adjustments are not uncommon. <laughs> but the timing of this most recent one is highly suspicious. We have little choice if it was the work of the controller, but this doesn't change the fact that we suffered tangible losses due to the incident. Under the current system, with the controller having so much influence, keeping layered running smoothly is becoming more and more difficult. That the controller plays a vital role in our existence is not in question, but we must start making use of its presence to bring about a more reliable order. I'm not saying anything bad about the controller. We all love the controller. Myself, most of all. But boy, boy does it make us blow up a lot of stuff. Oh, well, you got a, got a job interview tomorrow? Ooh, good luck. Good luck. Oh, speaking of, I've got some stuff going on tomorrow, too. I'm going to an event. Which actually means I need to wrap up the old stream here in a minute. But, I'm gonna do a couple more missions. Kisaragi's meter is going way down. What's up with that, Kisaragi? Oh, maybe I can do this for Kisaragi. I've gotta escort the transport to safety. It would be nice to have a better gun. I wonder if I can afford one. God, how far do you have to go to see how much money you have? Okay. Uh, That's the, that's the old reliable right there. I guess it was really nice for, oh, there's an even longer sniper. Okay, I can almost afford that. Loved using the MG500. I'll have to try it out. has been planted on one of our transport vehicles traveling the A24 superhighway. The bomb is designed to explode if the transport decelerates, awesome. so we'll have to defuse it on the fly. We're clearing the highway and redirecting the transport to a remote area, but a contingent of enemy units has taken up positions along the route. Please ensure that the transport reaches our bomb. bomb disposal team without incident. They'll take care of matters from there. Be aware that if the transport comes into contact with... Hey, it's Blastcore again. The bomb may explode. It's a government job. I hope I get it for the student loan forgiveness. Sounds like the Supreme Court hates poor people, Americans like myself. Yes. It's not constitutional. Iceman. Raven, get moving. Clear a path for the transport. How do I do that? Oh, I guess I just shoot the guys. I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Raven, clear a path for me. Oh, oh. Can I stomp on stuff? Huh. I don't know if this matters. This is a pretty cool little highway though. Oh, it might matter though. Hmm. Well, whatever. It's too late to turn around. Like, 
piles of stuff? Can I shoot the stuff? I can. Oh, man. This is cool. I'm already getting pretty inventive with the level types. All set. Fred. Go to Fred. Pretty cute, isn't it? Oh, he's sparking a little bit. Sorry, guy. Room, <laughs> room. Probably should have shot some of that stuff out of the way. But you're all clear now. Crazy diamond view. We'll take over from here. Good job, Raven. I love you, defense target. I'm saved. Mission complete. Combat system disengaged. Mm, 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 mm. Cool. Rank S. Doesn't get better than that. Actually, it might. You think like the new? Do you think the new AC will have stage designs like this with buses you can blow up just for fun? Seems like modern day sequels to old games have, or like this, have forgotten they are video games first. Should maximize fun. I don't know, like goof missions. I don't know if they'll. I don't know if there's going to be a mission that asks you to blow stuff up. But, uh. Maybe. How long has it been since From Software games have been, like, cheeky? I thought S stood for special. It's like one, it's one extra above A. All right, I'll do one more mission here. Uh, Kisaragi's back on the map. Last Armored Core kind of blue. Did it? They're all so similar now. It's hard for me to tell. Like, they've all, they're all so similar, but they're all just teeny tiny iterative iterations better so it's been fun to play because everyone's better than the last one drainage l9 hmm. the survey team we infiltrated into mirage's research facility was discovered and is currently trapped they're doing what they can to hold out but the odds aren't in their favor enter the facility and help them escape uh Four is a big change. Mirage's okay. Forces will do their best to destroy the survey team. Make sure they fail. Like not even in the same genre. Really? Huh. Combat system engaged. Interesting. The survey team needs assistance. We need help now! The soundtrack is definitely less like Y2K EDM bleepy bloopy. But then again, having uh, orchestral samples in electronic music was very hot. Post Matrix Reloaded. Although this was 2002. It hadn't come out yet, had it? Let's see here. We got switches. We do. Raven, cover us! Survey team identified. Make sure they get to the escape point. Oh.
closing in. Wait, they just went past all those units by themselves? Yeah, okay, I was about to say. I didn't think they were going to move that fast. Mission failed. All that is engaged. Well, oof. Mission failed. Rank E. E. That hurts. Now will they let me do it again? Ooh, new mail. Closure of Sector 302. The controller ordered Sector 302 sealed the other day. Please be advised that this area is now off limits. The closure was deemed necessary in order to counter the recent increase in terrorist activity. The philosophies of those responsible are in direct conflict with those of the controller. The situation is spun out of control. We're exploring a number of different options for dealing with this threat, and we ask that citizens assist us in our efforts. Okay. That one is still there. So that's that's nice, I guess. Yeah, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Who knows the difference? It's nice to be rank C, though. Alright, I'm gonna have to hang it up there for tonight. Uh, and I may... I don't think I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. Because, like I said, I'm going to a special event. Uh, it is related to Armored Core. So... Perhaps you can guess. Anyway, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm excited to pick this up again. I will later this week. On Thursday, I think. Yeah. Ugh, these games are so fun. So I hope to see you then. Oh yeah, Exo Primal comes out this Friday. That'll be exciting. Hopefully we can get some good games in with good friends then. But yes, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do, I really do love sharing games. So thank you for sharing them with me. Hope to see you next time and have a great rest of your day, night, whatever it is. Till next time.